I know what you're thinking. The Trim UI Smart Pro needs to be simpler and needs to lose a lot of features to make it better. <laughs> know, that makes no sense at all. What I'm trying to say today, we are looking at the Trim UI Smart Pro using Min UI. This is an operating system that is simple on purpose. And so you lose a lot of features. And those features are, you're limited to certain systems. So you can't tinker around with PSP and stuff, even though I couldn't really play those systems. But it can play everything up to PS1. But you do lose, you know, the ability to play some of the weird and wonderful systems that some of us do enjoy looking into. You lose box art. You lose the ability to use the joysticks, although... We never like the joysticks to begin with. And there's no Wi-Fi capability, which saves battery. You don't have any need for Wi-Fi because there's no box art scraping. So those are all the negatives, but let's get into the setup guide and then I'll tell you why this is a good thing for your Trim UI Smart Pro. If you're watching this, you are a nerd. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Excitingly, I now have PCBWay as a channel partner to feed our nerdy energy together. So check out their website. They have a very handy tool to do custom PCBs, CNC machining, 3D printing, and a whole lot of other stuff to create your nerdy projects. PCBWay also wanted me to tell you about their competition where you can win one million, no, sorry, $1,000 in their 10 year anniversary badge design contest. That's $1,000. So please check the link in the description for the rules. Thank you PCBWay for partnering with my channel to take me one step closer to turning this YouTube thing into a career. Okay, let's start by going to the link in my written notes and we scroll down to the download. Then find that menu I file in your downloads folder, extract it so we're gonna Click on Extract All, Extract. All right, and we are extracting. So the nice thing about this is there are readme files. So we're gonna to go to the first readme. Now in this downloaded extracted folder on the left-hand side of my screen is BIOS and ROMs. We wanna to go to our BIOS and we want to preload the BIOS into the respected folders which can get tricky. I will list in my written notes which BIOS files go in which folder. Your Super Famicom doesn't need BIOS files. Now we are taking our trusty SD card reader. This must be powered down. Getting the SD card out and we are plugging this into the laptop, your computer. All right, when inserting the card, it's very important to not fix the card. So if you click on this pop-up at the bottom here, Continue without scanning. Don't scan and fix because you will mess up the card. So let's put our Trim UI Smart Pro SD card on the left, downloads on the right hand side here, Min UI folder on the right hand side. So now inside of here, we've got a Trim UI folder, which we're gonna to drag to the root. So like we're not gonna go into any folders on the SD card. So just drag it over onto the SD card. Just do this for all current items. Say yes, let everything carry over. And the other thing we're going to drag is this min UI zipped folder. We're not going to unzip it and we're going to drag it over. Say yes. And that is it. Now you can eject your SD card. Remove it from our computer and we're going to get started. Pop the SD card in and power the device on. Installing MinUI, yippee. So let's just review what we're getting here. Um, I would just wanna mention, and I'll put some writing on the screen now, that so you can go onto your device and create a collections folder. Uh, I've put this in my notes, but essentially it's a collections, and then you would create a text folder, uh, let's say for instance, the Mario games.txt and then you would create the file extension where that Mario game is and list them. So I'll put it on the screen now how to do it. And uh, so it's a bit of a DIY situation, but then you can actually create collections, collections just like it was on the original uh, Trim UI software. Okay, but now we really are dumbing down the software. So what do you get in return? you are getting a very, very simple user interface, which, you know, 
I didn't like this device that much. I mean, I, I gave it a good review because of the price, but now I actually probably am going to use this for my lower end systems because it is so simple now. There's the systems and then there's a recently played. That's it, <laughs> you know? Um, and then you go in and there are your games. There's no box art. Let's go into recently played. Let's open a game. Now, when you're playing a game, you press menu and it takes you to the in-game menu. This is probably the best executed in-game menu that I've experienced on any device up until this point. You know, um, usually they over dumb it down or it doesn't work very well. This is excellent. So there's continue, there's save load um, and now options there's a surprisingly large amount of options here for something that's been dumbed down so much so we've got front end where we can do our integer scaling so um, aspect is where it stretches it to the screen but keeps the aspect ratio native which is your integer scaling which is really nice on the screen because you'll be surprised at how large the integer scaling can be on some of these games and then full screen now let's say for instance we want to play this particular game in full screen which i don't but let's just do that you also have an overclocking option there let's go max fast forward speed there so now we want to change some other things we want to go in here we can change the aspect ratio there's a, some cropping options a color palette option sound quality very high high and let's put it on high then we go into controls here we can actually map controls here what i wanted to do was so a button b button turbo a is going to be x Turbo B is going to be Y. Shortcuts. So here I'm going to do R2 as my save state shortcuts and I'm going to do L2 as my load state shortcuts. Those buttons are quite difficult to press and so that will work quite well. You can also do, I mean, if you are playing Pokemon games and you want to fast forward, you can do toggle fast forward here. Let's just put toggle fast forward R1. Okay, and then we save changes. So we can save for the console, we can save for the game. So you can save for, for this system, for this console system, or you can save for the game. I'm just gonna save for the game for now in case I screw something up here. So there we have it, it's in full screen. So just this game is in full screen. I now have fast forward. I've got save states. There are save states. Go in here, load state, there we go. He's up in the screen there. Yep, that's working. It also has some pretty intuitive over here main menu uh, options. So I'll show you the battery indicator there. Uh, now let's press one. So that goes into sleep mode. I see the lights are on for sleep mode, which is a bit strange. And then you press and hold to power off. I mean, it tells you what to do, which is also cool. Like A, open, B, back. X resumes, which will actually resume the game um, where you left off, which brings me on to my next point. So we're here, we press and hold power, quick save created, powering off. Wait for those lights to go off so that we know that it's, that it's off. There, starting up again. And it auto resumes where we left off. You know, a lot of these features are things that we look for in other systems. You know, like the system that I keep saying is the best um, Onion OS. These are some of the things that are on Onion OS that make Onion OS so good. And then if you press and hold menu, you can set the brightness. And then there's a volume indicator for the volume. And when you're doing the volume, it actually says press menu and you'll get the brightness. So now you've seen the good and the bad, and I want to kind of make a case for why this is a good idea. And to be honest, when I got this device, I did the review, I gave it a good review because it was affordable and it played a lot of nice games, but I never picked it up again. And the reason is the software. It's just not great. It was okay, but it wasn't great. This is simple, it doesn't have box art. I do like box art, but it is so simple to use. And with the auto resume feature, that's reserved for systems like Onion OS that I love and adore because it makes everyday life with the device manageable. And it also gives good battery life because you're always powering it down because you know that it's just gonna power back up into your game. And so 
even though you're losing so many features and so many systems, if you can put up with that, I think this is an excellent system. It also is an excellent system if you are setting up a device for a friend, you're buying it as a gift, because this is really simple and easy to use.